Fear of the unknown can be the most powerful, which is why I'm gonna share with you some incredible horror games that you haven't played. I'm Adam Scott, and let's take a look at some more hidden gem horror games. You survived a plane crash in a dense island forest and your son who is traveling with you is now missing. Not only do you need to find your son and survive the elements, but you need to fight off the cannibalistic monsters hunting you. This is the setup to The Forest, a critically acclaimed first person horror survival game. You're in a large open world without missions or any direction. You just know you need to stay alive long enough to save your boy. Like many other survival games, you gather food and supplies that will allow you to craft tools, weapons, shelter, and more. Throughout, you'll explore to find more supplies and clues of your son's whereabouts. As you progress, the creatures become increasingly more horrifying and the island's inhabitants grow more aggressive, especially at night. The story's relatively grounded, helping you to inhabit the character of Eric and his nightmarish plight and the titular forest makes for a memorable setting full of oppressive shadows and unknown horrors. I survived hell once. The whole town is gone. The freak creature I've never seen. There's a zombie outbreak and an evil biogenetics corporation is behind it. Sounds familiar, right? Well, it should. Daymare 1998 actually started as a fan-made Resident Evil 2 remake. Yeah, once the developer Invader Studios learned about Capcom's remake, they made a few tweaks and released it as an original title. Well, the title was original anyway. Just like the Resi games, this is a third-person survival horror game where you have limited inventory, challenging combat, creepy environments that open up as you unlock new pathways, and an over-the-top story and characters. It has all of the hallmarks of the originals and even the remakes. A small indie team made this one on a shoestring budget, so there are rough edges for sure. However, if you can overlook a bit of jank, there's enough fun moments, creative puzzles, and scares to make this worth a playthrough. After seeing this debut project, I'm interested in seeing the upcoming prequel, Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. Check out my full review for even more zombie killing goodness. Bloober Team is nothing if not great at creating rich and interesting worlds, and Observer is another great example of them enveloping you in an atmosphere unlike any other. In fact, I can't think of another game that feels quite the same as this first-person psychological horror game with a beautifully dystopian cyberpunk setting. A mega corporation has taken over Poland after a digital plague known as the Nanophage has killed thousands and has installed Observers to control the population. As an Observer, you can hack into people's brain implants to see their thoughts, even after their death. You'll use this and other cybernetic abilities to track down whoever's killing the tenants of a derelict apartment building. Unlike many other horror games, Observer doesn't use combat or hide-and-seek mechanics to create fear. Instead, it expertly creates a sense of dread that builds throughout its richly detailed environments, sound design, and the detective work that pulls you in. Not to mention, Rutger Hauer's voice is just awesome. An updated version was released in 2020 as Observer System Redux, which made this already incredibly looking game that much more real and added some new interactivity. This is the type of game you'll want to play with the lights off and the headphones on. Made of Skur is a first person game set in the Skur Hotel during the late 19th century you're trying to rescue a maid named Elizabeth who's trapped in the hotel. While exploring, you learn the place is controlled by a cult called the Quiet Ones. Throughout, you'll find notes and gramophone records that reveal the history of the hotel and Elizabeth's family. Several Welsh and British folklores inspired the story, and the environment is very gloomy and foreboding. The game has been compared to Outlast for its hide-and-seek style of gameplay, and while there are some similarities, the overall atmosphere is quite different. Made of Skur is a fun, spooky, intense horror game with solid graphics and sound, and worth a play, even if it's not the most original. Many people overlooked The Evil Within 2 based on what sounded like an awkward blend of survival horror concepts and an open world. 
However, to say that this is an underrated gem would be a massive understatement. This is one of the best horror experiences in the past decade. There's an interesting and strange storyline with genuinely creepy concepts and characters. Once again, you play as Sebastian Castellanos, however, the story is much more personal this time, centering on a family tragedy that sent his life spiraling out of control. You play in either third or first person view and navigate through awesome and engaging environments that create a tension between the desire to explore for limited resources and the fear of what's hiding around every corner. The enemy designs in particular are a real standout and definitely nightmare fuel. You'll amass a wide assortment of weapons that strike a great balance between having tools at your disposal but never feeling powerful. You constantly weigh whether or not you should engage the creatures or try to avoid them altogether. The Evil Within 2 smartly changed and refined from the original, and even if you didn't like the first game, you should give this one a chance. All right, well, there's some great horror experiences that have flown under the radar. Have you played any of these games? What'd you think about them? And what are some other great horror games that no one's talking about? Love to hear about it in the comments down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want even more great horror suggestions, check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.